Hey, what's going on, everybody? Yugi Fox for here, and I'm here with a Piercy YG Pro replay. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of these on this little game here. The mainly Dev Pro and, and Once in a Blue Moon DN. So I got one tool for you guys. It's called Pendulums Are Broken, and I've been on here fiddling with pendulums, even though Dev Pro has updated, but there are problems with Dev Pro right now. In terms of the pendulum mechanic, for me, it's broken. I can't summon monsters when I have to specify pendulums already on the field. And they seem to have a hand glitch to where you can see each other's hands partially or entire hand. It's not really good for testing if you see what your opponent has. It's kind of stupid. So until that's fixed, you know, I won't really do much dueling on Dev Pro because I don't really want to know what's in my, I, I don't want my opponent knowing what's in my hand, and vice versa. But let's load this replay up. Yeah. So me it wants to go and start. There we go. So I'm playing against a plant deck. Now I am playing Pendulum Zombies, which is basically using the typical zombies you see with Malicious and Grefford and all that stuff, but putting Pendulum monsters in there. Yeah. So I'm using the Chromancy, the Astromancy, and the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Now in terms of ratios right now, I'm using three Odd Eyes, two Chromancy, and two Astromancy. Because of the fact that I'm trying to get the ratios to where they don't clog my hand. Odd Eyes on my pen is not really clunky because if you get these two on the board, you're pretty much golden. Now, I've only scratched the surface of the Pendulum Summons. I have yet to bring out the full potential of these guys. This is just me fiddling around, seeing what works and what work. Getting ratios down and all that stuff. And the result of it is pretty scary. And there's actually a duel I had against the AI on Pierce on Percy. And against the Chaos Dragon because whenever I have a new deck, I like to go against the AI just to kind of test hand consistency and all that stuff. Here's the stupidness right here. Special summon. Special summon. Special summon. I could play ah? It's like it's seriously stupid. <laughs> but I was playing against the AI's Chaos Dragons, which even the AI can fucking sack you hard like as hell with that deck. But I summoned five monsters in one turn. All specials. No normal summons. I couldn't save a replay because they wouldn't allow me. I wish they would because those are some pretty... That was a, would have been a pretty epic replay in my opinion. But it was batshit insane. How stupid that was. I mean, seriously. That was fucking retarded. But here, I I have so much field advantage. Uh, here, I should have attacked and then destroyed the monster with the Scrap Dragon. But oh well... My bad there, my bad there. That's kind of what I get for not fully thinking things through. But I'm spoiling. I do win in the end because I have so much field advantage. It's fucking ridiculous. It really is so stupid how much field advantage I have just because I've got the Mancy's here. Like the Mancy family. Uh, one thing you know about the Magician of Chromancy is the fact that you do need to have no, you can't have any monsters on the field in order to put them in the pendulum zone. So that is a restriction on the chrom on the Magician of Chromancy. And also, if you don't have a Magician card or an Ardice card in your, oh, the pendulum zone, he becomes a scale 4. So it makes up for the fact that he's a scale 8, which is fucking ridiculous. I mean, seriously. Pen, uh, Scrap Dragon Effect, destroy BLZ. Battle, I could have pendulum summoned right here. Here's my Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon, which I'm playing three of him because he searches out these guys. But guess what? I'm about to go Netzo Sacco on him on my next turn. And it's going to be stupid and insane. It really is. I don't know why I'm talking like that. But I get a Magician of Chromancy. Pendulum Summon! Pendulum Summon! Look at there, free level 7 monster, no ifs, ands, or buts, no trip eating, no banishing, no nothing like that. Konami, can we please ban the E-Dragons, like, now? Please? 
Because I think it'd be pretty unfair that my opponent is able to go ahead and summon a blaster while I'm having to banish. I think that'd be pretty fucking stupid now, don't you? You can't go for Daru because I thought I'd play Cowboy, but I didn't. So I wish I had Cowboy for game, but it's still GG because I destroyed him with the Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon and saying screw you. But yeah, that's stupid. That is batshit stupid. Like, come on. I get a freeze level 7 monster. Yay! I could a game now? It's fucking insane. It's so stupid. Anyway. If you fiddled with the Pendulum Monsters already, what are your thoughts on these guys? You think they're gonna break the game, or do you think they're gonna do nothing and just be our normal selves? My opinion, they're going to break the game much more further than what Xyz and Synchros have already have. It's really stupid, and if you're not a fan of super happy spammy fun time in Yu-Gi-Oh, you might as well quit. I'm saying that very bluntly. You might as well quit because the next three to four years it's going to be super happy, spammy, fun time. And that's all it's going to be. We're not really going to have a slow format for a little while. So, sound good in advance. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.